Hey guys, this is your boy Javier Acevedo, well you can call me Javi for short, and welcome to my YouTube channel known as Javi Wood Productions. This is my first ever YouTube video, I am super excited, you know, to do this video, and please don't mind some of the construction right now, right now, so, you know, they're just, you know, fixing the house, but you know, whatever. So now, today I would love to talk about one of my most anticipated films of all time. Godzilla King of the Monsters coming up right now So Godzilla King of the Monsters is directed by Michael Dodery stars Vera Farmiga, Kyle Chandler, and Millie Bobby Brown in her film debut and Ken Watanabe and Sally Hawkins reprising their roles from the 2014 remake directed by Gareth Edwards now back in 2014 I freaking loved and I still to this day loved the I still love the 2014 film. I really thought it was very respectful, it was dark, it was great, and I didn't mind Godzilla's screen time because usually that's the his classic and best films of all time, you know, don't really have him, you know, in it much. But yeah, enough about that. So five years, you know, I've been waiting for this film and, you know, it's been, you know, most anticipated, more anticipated than Endgame, more anticipated than Rise of Skywalker, the Star Wars movie that's coming up. So. You know, after all of these years, you know, following the production when Gareth Evers dropped and when Michael Dory entered the room, and, you know, and, you know, just talking about the plot and everything like that and watching all the marketing campaign and stuff like that. What do I think about it? Let's just get into the, act, the actual review. So there recently has been a conflict between both critics and fans. Critics basically hating and fans loving it. And, well, you know, I agree and disagree on both camps, you know, usually when it comes to me, in my opinion, basically I do want best of both worlds, because critics were bashing it for the character development, and fans were just like, who cares, we're here to see a, you know, monster action, but then again, you know, if you really think that Godzilla is nothing but monster action, and that's it, dumb entertainment, then you don't understand what Godzilla is, and I don't, you know, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far, but still, but then again, critics are really unapologetically bashing this movie because, well, I don't know. They got nothing better to do with their lives right now. It feels like they have to review this film, you know, because they want that extra cash, but whatever. Then again, when you really look at the Rotten Tomato scores, you know, it's very mostly like troll reviews, like, and that's very, very, very shocking to, you know, see that kind of bullshit. Because, <laughs> you know, these are supposed to be professional critics and yet they're acting like men and women children. But whatever, fuck them, right? So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about the critiques or the controversy, stuff like that. But yeah, now let's get into the actual review. And so, let's just get into the positives. Uh, the pacing is actually pretty good. For like a film that's like 11 minutes longer than the first one, it flows by faster than the first one did. And you know, the acting, the acting was very good. And I'm gonna get into that in a couple minutes. Uh, of course, the monster action, Godzilla looks great. I love his update. I'm, I really love the 2014 design, but this one just excels at it much, much better. You know, Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah looks freaking amazing. They all look freaking phenomenal, and that is great. And even the story is pretty decent at, at, at some parts. Now, I'm going to get into, you know, the bad part. I can't really say bad part because, you know what? I can't really think of many bad parts. It's, you know, mostly, mostly nitpicky stuff, you know? So, usually, it's just I wish, you know, and this is kind of a minor spoiler, which, you know, but then again, I'm pretty sure, you know, you've heard other reviews that Mothra and Rodan, you know, like, you know, they're not really in it that much. I think Rodan gets more screen time than Mothra does, but, you know, but when they're on screen, they're on screen and they take up the show, like, Holy crap, like it looks phenomenal. And I, and I really love the cinematography here and I love like a lot of the shots. Not all the shots are that great, but still, because you know, they're really close, but still, it's amazing. And yeah, I had to agree with a lot of people that it's very like wallpaper worthy. It's very freaking cool. And I also love to touch upon the score by Bear McGree. Like, holy crap, this guy went from God of War to Battlestar Galactica, well, Battlestar Galactica to God of War to this, and like, wow, it looks phenomenal. And I'm very excited to see the Child's Play remake by his score. It looks very good. But yeah, the score is amazing. Like, Godzilla's theme is there, and it's just very bombastic. It's on par with Akira Fukube's military style marching, and that's what's something that Godzilla, you know, movies really freaking need. So yeah, I really also love the performances too. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. I actually really like the characters. You know, they're not as, you know, in-depth as, you know, like, you know, most uh, artistic films are. But, you know, for what they serve as a purpose, it's, you know, it's actually fine and it's tolerable. 
For me, though, a character doesn't have to be, you know, way too three-dimensional. It just has to be on the performance. And if the performance sells, I'm actually interested and invested on the characters. Like, Vera Farmiga's character is very good, even though there's a little bit of, you know, conflict in between, you know, development. But, you know, it's whatever. Kyle Chandler is amazing. Like, from the opening scene, his performance is really good. He doesn't ham it up and doesn't go over the top. And for Millie Bobby Brown, wow, her emotions and the emotion she carries in the film is great. I love it. So all in all, this sounds like I'm just fanboying out or just coming you know, coming up, you know, from a, as a Godzilla fan. But really, no, I actually like, you know, I really become want to become a filmmaker one of these days. And, you know, this is just great. Like, you know, yeah, there's like a lot of fan service and it basically feels like a film made for especially Godzilla fans. But, you know, in, this, in that case, you know, it doesn't really seem like it to me much. It actually feels like it's for everybody still. Anybody can enjoy it. And, you know, it's not, you know, 100% like a turn your brain off and you're going to enjoy it. No, really, there's some stuff if you really play, yeah, if you really pay close attention, you know, there is some deep stuff in it. And the message is very obviously clear. So it's just cool. So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil much. It may sound very vague that I'm, you know, like not giving up too much information, but still like, you know, even all the other critics were pretty much vague on that. So, but yeah, I really do want everybody to see it. And you know what? One of these days, I am going to do a spoiler, you know, filled review. But mostly, I'm going to do it as an essay style, which is cool. I'm very excited to do that. Yeah. Filled with lots of great characters. You know, and not that much in the character development, but still, you know, it's fine. Great monster action and just lovable, just passion. Because I can tell this was made by Godzilla fan. And, you know... I love passion projects, just like Alita and all that stuff, and even Lady Bird. It's just great. I love passion projects like this. And you know what? More stuff like this should be made in Hollywood. So yeah, all in all, it was a damn good experience. See it in IMAX or on Dolby, you know, see it at the biggest screen possible because this is where the film mostly shines upon. So yeah, I'm going to be picking it up day one on Blu-ray, which is great. I'm actually going to do also Blu-ray reviews. So yeah, this is an exciting time to be a Godzilla fan. And you know what? Yeah, I say casual people should go see it because, you know, it's, you know, it's Godzilla. You know, what more do you want from all the stuff I just explained? So all in all, after all of the years that I've waited for this movie, what do I think? It's just as good and masterful as the first one. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it five out of five stars. It delivers on every aspect. You want great monster action? It's going to give that to you. That's all you want. And that's basically what people are coming to go see anyways. So yeah. This is a monumental success, in my opinion. So, yeah. But anyways, at the end of the day, it's all just my opinion because, you know, there's no right or wrong when it comes to opinions. So at the end of the day, it's just my opinion, and that's all that matters. There's no right or wrong to an opinion. It's just an opinion. It's never going to be fact. So, yeah. And, you know, don't mind my dog barking right now. He's just barking because, you know, he's being annoying as hell. So... Out of five stars, what would I give it? Five out of five stars. You know what? I say it's a masterpiece, and it's not just because I'm fanboying. I actually really think it's a damn good movie. And in my opinion, it's currently my favorite movie of the year. So, yeah. Go see it. It's a really fun ride. And you know what? You're going to have a great time, too. So, yeah. This is Javi from Hobbywood Studios. Signing off. I shouldn't have done that twice. So, yeah.